Get out. I want you out of this house. Pray, pray, for heaven's sakes, what was in your mind? Get out of here tonight. Get out. We'll take care of it. Come on. Lily. I didn't think you were coming. This is the only memorial service there will be for Paul. I had to come. I wish you had called me. I could have warned Barbara to bring Craig here with you. You invited me. I him? told Meg it was an informal gathering. I never thought you Meg was Craig distraught. With her. She needed somebody to drive her and to help see her through this. I need someone too. I need my son. I need Paul. I need to see his eyes. I need to hear his voice again. I need to be able to cry over his body at least. And you have deprived me of that. And you? You dare bring my son's murderer into this house? There was no murder, Barbara. It was an accident. Paul fell. Don't you defend Craig Montgomery to me. Not to me. Not in my house. I have to come here. I love Paul. You liar. Craig! Craig! Let her go. Let go. Let me go. I'm simply trying to stop you from harming someone. I could kill you for what you have done to me. As you have told me many times over the years, I am only going to tell you this once. You come at my wife like that again, I will hurt you. Do you understand, Barbara? It sounded pretty clear to me. The only one getting hurt here is you, unless you take your hand off my mother. Will! Will, don't get it. No, Craig is just leaving. No, I will leave when Meg is ready to go. I want that man out of here. He's going. And her, too. I want them both out. I want to stay for Paul. I'm not going to let you dishonor my son's memory. You're the reason he's dead. That is not true. The only reason Paul was chasing after her was to save her from you. I never meant for this to happen. Mom, this is about Paul. Don't you think he'd want me to be here? <sighs> it's okay, Meg. You can stay. Thank you. Good. So if she's staying, I will stay right here with her. Craig, this is Barbara's home. Her son's memorial. Please respect that. Craig did try to save Paul's life. Well, he should have tried harder, and this is my mom's home. So I'm kicking him out. If you have a problem with that, you can leave with him. Meg should never choose between staying here and coming with me. Then don't make her choose. I apologize for making this day worse for you all, and I am truly sorry for this family's loss. so he offered to drive me. Lily, Craig's been a really good friend to me. Yeah, I thought he was a good friend to me, too, until he tricked me into signing over my mother's company to him. Well, Craig hasn't lied to me or tricked me. In fact, I had done that to him. Now Paul's dead because of it. Paul made his own choices. Yet, if he knew what it would cost him, I wonder, would he have chosen me? Yeah, this is when Paul used to teach me how to dunk. He'd lift me up over his head, and then I'd try to put the ball in, but I'd miss it. Oh, you guys look so young and happy. We were, before Craig came along. When are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think I have, like, a, a bug or something. Excuse me. How long has that been going on? Well, a couple days. You know, if it's going on longer than 24 hours, she really should see a doctor. I better go check on her. I'm curious, Meg, who is this performance for? I don't understand. Why are you here, really? You're trying to make Craig jealous? What? This pretense of grieving for Paul, what does it get you? If you really wanted Craig, you... I already God, told no. you, Barbara, there is nothing between Craig and me. You're living in his house. I slept there 
one night. There was nothing intimate about it. I was going to marry Paul. Yes, I know. That's what you told him. But if that was true, where's your loyalty now, Meg? Hmm? Hello, sweetheart. I'm glad to see you. Hi, Miss Ryan. Oh, hi, Faith. Oh, these are so pretty. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Paul was a great guy. I wish he hadn't died. Thank you. I didn't realize that you were close. Well, it started with Parker. He was friends with Paul and then kind of forced me to get to know him. Forced you? Well, when we had no one to talk to, he was there. And he was crazy about it, Meg. He loved her so much. I hope Paul knew that she loved him, too. So do I. I'm not sure what to do. You give that card to Barbara, and you say how you feel. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Will. Hi, Parker. Oh, honey, it's been a long time. Yeah, guess it has. I'm glad to see you here. And your brother is, too. Yeah, Paul was kind of like my brother, too. Maybe he was more like a friend. Oh, this is for you. Thank you. Paul was very fond of you. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I used to bug him and he'd try to get rid of me. <laughs> that was because he didn't want you to get in trouble for cutting school or something. So he would pretend that he didn't want us around. Yeah. One time he even saved our lives. He had a vision that we were going to be in trouble. Yeah, I used to see things like that. And I don't anymore. I mean, if I had, then maybe Paul it, wouldn't... It's not your fault. Leaving so soon? Um, I can't stay. No. Paul's visions protected you over and over. Why couldn't you have done something to protect him? <laughs> 